uh, academically qualified the PAP Malay candidates but they are not high profile right so paper qualifications as I said right from the beginning only helps you to a certain point after that you have to perform because if you don't then you will just remain where you are you cannot climb the the hierarchy you know like dulu eh, we had uh, Yaakob Muhammad mm. on it. Mm. He was not academically qualified, mm. but he had a high profile because mm. of his uh, the way he conducted himself, mm. and he was uh, very early he was associating with Lee Kuan Yew, and Lee Kuan Yew depended on him mm. to a certain extent to win over the Malays. Mm. Right? He was an Amno mm. Amno guy. He was a member for, I think, what, Southern Islands? Mm. Lao Samaka, all those islands, Pulau Berani. Tapi mm. now we cannot rely on that. Mm. But then again, I say paper qualifications only helps you mm. uh, open doors. Mm. Right? But after that, what you do, how you perform, that will determine what contribution you can make, how people look up at you. If you are really effective, uh, you can convince your own colleagues, uh, and by doing, doing so, you can also convince the general public mm. about what you can do for mm. them. Then your profile will go up. Mm. Then you can, uh, the Malays overall can benefit. That is on the PAP side. The same goes with the opposition. Mm. If we have, I say, next two elections, mm. if we can win 50% of the seats or 51% just pass, mm. to expect to win maybe 70%, I think it's a bit too optimistic. We can just cross 50%, 55%, 53%. Mm. That's enough for you to still have a majority mm. right so if the Malays uh, at that time if the Malay members of the opposition either it's a coalition or it comes uh, on the workers party or SDP or NSP or whatever mm. right or a coalition I think chances are will be a coalition mm. because we don't have enough uh, as I can see now no single party has got the strength and the members mm. to win outright 50% of the mm. seats. So if the Malays then are not uh, qualified, my term of being qualified uh, mm. has got to be understood, mm. not only paper qualifications. Qualified means he has got paper qualification, he has got the knack for politics. Mm. He can convince people, he can lead. If we don't have that, mm -hmm. then even if the opposition wins, mm -hmm. the Malays punya fate na, will not be much different. Mm -hmm. You mark my words. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking everybody to be confrontational and so on, but sometimes things that has that have to be said will have to be said. So your party colleagues will know where you stand mm. and what is the right uh, situation, what is the right position to take. Mm. Okay, recently the controversy about the uh, denigration of the prophet. Mm. Uh, the Mufti said something which I agree with. We shouldn't respond like what certain Muslim countries uh, responded mm. right we must do it in a more measured and more uh, I wouldn't say moderate but more accurate you must reflect the real position of Islam mm. because when you do when you mount uh, 
you stage violent demonstrations mm. the sympathy uh, and the understanding people's understanding of the issue will be clouded mm. then they will blame you for instead of blaming that one who caused mm. the problem the blame will fall on because nowadays in europe mm. people have got that uh, prejudice against islam already so when that happens uh, that will further uh, worsen kita punya image the image of the malays so i agree with the mufti mm. but i asked the mufti i asked muis i think it's on my facebook mm. to organize a convention uh, exhibition mm. to tell the non malays mm. you invite uh, scholars from overseas give lectures on islam make them understand what islam is all about mm-hmm. and uh, explain the personality of the prophet mm-hmm. uh, then you say i disagree with the way they did it by demonstrating my way is this i'm promoting this so people will understand islam mm-hmm. so i say this because i i would I strongly feel that if you are a member of uh, an opposition multiracial opposition party you must always be available in giving your advice to your colleagues mm-hmm. make them understand what irks the malays what uh, annoy what will annoy them and so on and what they are lacking what kind of discrimination they have gone through you must be prepared to be open and they will understand i think this is what i think we don't get from the malay pp mps mm-hmm. i think they somehow they have got have got that phobia you know in in trying to explain to their colleagues mm-hmm. what actually is troubling the malays so by that same token if that is not done if you get a, a candidates in the elections uh, who are also like the pp malay mps they behave like the pp malay mps i, I don't think there's much hope of improving our lot What do you think? <laughs>